What's going on everyone, Captain Horn here. Welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 video. I hope you enjoy watching and maybe even learn a thing or two from this video. Before we begin, if you would like to see more Microsoft Flight Simulator content, please consider subscribing to my channel. It takes less than 5 seconds and it would greatly help my channel out. If you are interested in supporting myself and my channel, be sure to check out the different tiers in my Patreon for different rewards. If you are interested in becoming an active member in my community, or would like to find others to fly with in Microsoft Flight Simulator, feel free to join my Discord. The link to both my Patreon and Discord are in the description. Let's get right into this video. What's going on everybody, Captain Orange 23 here, and in today's video we will be making Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 look even better than it already does, using a wonderful program called Reshade. And I have some shaders that I tweaked and added to it, that makes the game look amazing. So I'm going to show you how to install it. It's a very simple installation and we're going to go into the game and I'm going to show you the difference between the default and my shaders and even how you can change your shaders up to your preference. So let's get right in how to install and use these shaders. Alright guys, the only thing we're going to need today is actually my file and if you click the link in the description it'll bring you to my Google Drive and you'll be able to download this WinRAR file right here on my desktop. And once you have it downloaded, just drag it out to your desktop like I have here, and then we can open it. Inside it's going to have Captain's Reshade, and open that folder. And in here it's going to have Reshade Shaders, DXGI, DLL, NI, NI, and a log. And once you are here, what you want to do is navigate to your main directory of Microsoft Flight Simulator. So in other words, not the community or the official folders, but where Microsoft Flight Simulator.exe is located. For Steam users, this is really easy. All you have to do is find Microsoft Flight Simulator, right click on it, go to Properties, hit Local Files, which is the middle tab, and go to Browse Local Files on the very top. And this is the folder that we are looking for. And it has our Flight Simulator.exe located right here. This is very important. The shaders will not work if you do not install them into this folder. Now, for Microsoft Store people or Xbox Game Pass, I am not sure where your Flight Simulator.exe would be located, but it probably is not that difficult to find. You might just have to do a little searching. But for Steam users, it's really simple. Just go to Properties and Local Files and browse the local files. Anyway, once you have found this folder, all you want to do is select all four of these files in my download and simply drag them over into here just like that and it's asking me to replace because they are already there but for you it is not going to ask and once you have dragged all four of those files in to where your flight simulator.exe is located we can X out of both of these and head into the game alright guys here we are in the game finally and all you need to do is use your page up and page down buttons on your keyboard if you press page down it'll bring up the shaders and my shaders I have MS flight simulator light and HDR and high pass sharp. Now, the this is the default simulator without anything active. But if I press the page up key, now you can tell the difference. Now everything just becomes so much more saturated and realistic. And you can see the difference if I just spam it. And also the terrain from a high altitude. This is with the shaders and this is default. The default kind of adds a what well, looks like a film, like a brownish film over the game. But with these shaders, it just deepens everything and makes the vegetation look so much better. And even cities, Charlotte's right over there. So yeah, and if you find it to be oversaturated or anything, you can disable HDR, which um, reduces the saturation. And MS Flight Simulator kind of saturates it, but not as bad as HDR. But I really like HDR on. And High Pass Sharp really doesn't even change anything except make things a little bit sharper and you can add anything you want in here like I used to like filmic pass but it just washes out the colors too much as you can tell um, and there's uh, levels and levels plus is really good too but it really the contrast is just ridiculous like look, you can see how bright those clouds are so I just leave those off um, and there's some stupid ones in here too like night vision what the heck is that and nostalgia I don't, I don't know why anybody would want something like this it looks terrible but um, yeah, I'm going to disable that right now. So that is my shaders and how to install them. It's really simple and it'll make your game look phenomenal. Alright, so that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you're new to the channel, please do like and subscribe. It'll help me out greatly. 
Keep a lookout for more Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 tutorials and live streams. And I, as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or night, depending on when you're watching this. And I will see you guys in the next video.